Hey, this is Pinworms, and I'm gonna show you some highlights of the Reddit Royals vs. Eliminate War, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing a live war attack in the current war we're in on the number one player. Um, we are down right now by four stars with about two hours left, so uh, make sure you tune into the end of the video for the live attack. So, in this war, we, uh, we got a narrow victory. Uh, Reddit Royals war record at the time was 65 and 4. Eliminate was on a 20 something uh, win streak, and we were planning on getting matched up. Um, we actually got matched up a, a day or two earlier than we were expected, um, but no worries. Um, there was a lot of hype surrounding this war. Probably the uh, the first uh, clan war that we got matched up where we knew a lot of people from the other clan. So there's lots of YouTubers from this clan, like Nokolo, he's a YouTuber. Um, he gets the two star on me uh, first, so I got to return the favor. He got, he got a really nice attack on my base and got the two star, um, so hats off to Nokolo. So on this attack, um, I bring a, a three giants. Normally I bring two if I want to lose the CC because I, I was certain there was going to be a spring trap there. Um, because that's the obvious point to lure the CC. But there's no spring trap, no nothing, so it actually works out well because I needed all three giants because he has a million archers in the CC, which seems to be a pretty common trend nowadays. Um, but I feel like if your CC is hard to lure, then it's a great strategy because against Go Wipe, you know, the, the golems take forever to kill those archers. But if your CC is easy to lure, uh, maybe not the best in the CC. So I'm, I'm moving from this angle because I can see that they're... Um, there's a vulnerable spot right by his king where I can put down a jump spell. Um, if I put down the jump spell there, um, everything's just going to shoot right into the core. I drop the freeze really early because I know that I can blow both freezes on that one Inferno Tower and it's not a big deal because I'm going to anyways. The Inferno Tower on the left side is way too far in the back. It's too spread out. So by the time I get there, um, the base is going to get wrecked. So I love bases where the Inferno Towers are really spread out because it makes it easy for me. Um, where I can just freeze one, I just have to deal with one, I can just basically ignore the one in the back. Uh, the king can't really decide where he wants to go, he decides, okay, I'll go to the top. Uh, so at this point, we're just in the core, everything's going crazy, I'll just speed it up, and uh, you can see uh, we got a pretty good percentage on this base. Uh, so I'll just have a couple barbs, I mean, so, car, supple, uh, just a couple archers and minions all spread out there. So this is the vulnerable part of the base. Um, if you put a jump spell right there, everything's going to shoot into the core, and uh, if you attack from the side, you only have to deal with one Inferno Tower. So this next attack, I'm going to show you a replay from Anonymous in our clan, who's ranked number 6, versus uh, Brian, who's also known as BJ Can Dive on YouTube. Um, so this is a really interesting base design. It looks really strange. Um, you know, strange bases are always hard to uh, harder to attack in Clan Wars. Um, so he lures out the arch Again, he has a million archers. So Anonymous decides he just wants to... Um, just attack head on and that's that's fine um he didn't lure the archers to the side but at least he takes out the archers before his troops are, are near the inferno towers because the danger is um if every or if all your troops get hung up while killing the archers while they're getting killed by the inferno towers that's where the issue is um so at this point things are looking a little sketchy because his heroes are going to the bottom he drops a nice free spell before his barb king dies but his heroes bounce back inside so maybe a little luck maybe maybe not i don't know but uh, his heroes get to decide they want the town hall. Um, so uh, he drops the freeze, freezes the hero and the Inferno Tower, which is always a good thing. And he, uh, at this point, he's got the P.E.K.K.A. at the bottom, uh, which works out pretty well. It's tanking while the uh, he's got a wizard at the bottom also shooting stuff, getting him the 50%. And he has a couple minions to clean up the extra percentage. So make sure on a war base, you always scout out the extra percentage and bring either archers or minions, depending on if there's ground or air extra. Okay, so this last attack, I'm gonna show you to set the scene. We were up two stars with about an hour to go, and we had three attacks left. Eliminate had two attacks left, and everyone in our clan had already, one, had already had at least one star in them. So if we added one star, we would have clinched the win. So this is a Sills attack, which ends up clinching the win and mathematically eliminating... Eliminate. <laughs> okay, so... Um, a Sill is ranked 43 in our clan, and he's attacking number 38. And he has a hog attack, uh, but he's super uh, meticulous in his hog attacks. Um, he doesn't always hog. Sometimes he does hollow wee wee. He does all these like really awesome attacks. He's one of our best attackers and one of the lowest ranks in our clan. Um, so he lures the CC. I'm going to speed this up because uh, it's just a CC lure here. And he takes down the witch. Okay, so he puts down the the uh, 
the golem on the right side and he only has two wall breakers which he puts down and they hit right at the junction point so both compartments are broken in he puts the barb king on the left side watch the barb king he's waiting so the barb king is taking fire from the wizard tower and the mortar so he sees that and then he puts down a whole bunch of hogs so all the splash damage is focused on the barb king which um you know the, it doesn't even matter so he has six hogs that he has not deployed yet he's saving those um for the right side so he puts down the hogs on the right side so he's got hogs going all around the base he's got some hogs going in the core with the heal spell there um and watch the hogs they kind of converge right into the core from the six on the right side with the rest of the troops so he's got hogs going everywhere i don't know how if he planned um how well he planned it if he knew that all the hogs were going to converge and go exactly where he wants but knowing his attacks probably he did he's just uh, an amazing attacker and so we've got um this is the clinch the clinch three star there i won't show the rest because it's just clean up so we end up winning 93 to 90 so big hats off to eliminate um it was a very intense war they got off to an early lead and we clawed our way back one of the closest wars we've ever fought um in terms of town halls we had two more town hall tens in them and they had um a few more people with level 40 heroes so it could not get closer so in this war, we are winning, I mean, so we are losing by four with three hours to go. I'm going to be attacking this base, just scout it out. I'm not, usually I like to lure the CC, I don't bring a, a lightning spell, but in this case, I can't lure the CC, it's too sketchy. Um, I was thinking about doing some balloons and going in for the Inferno Tower, but uh, I don't want to, I really don't want to. So I'm going to bring a lightning spell, and which is going to be scary with no jump spell, these walls are pretty high level. Um, and the heroes, I'm kind of worried that when uh, the troops get closer to the town hall, they're going to um, distract my troops. There's lots of free um, defenses, actually, on the outside that I feel a couple minions. Um, see, it's out of range of the archer tower. So I'm going to put a couple minions and try and clear those out. I brought four minions just in case there's an air bomb. I can put down another minion and make sure I clear out the uh, cannon on the left side because I'm going to be attacking from the top left. So I'm just double-checking my army. All right, looks like we're good to go. All right, so here's the attack on number one. So we really need these stars. Um, so step one, I'm going to put the minions um, to clear out the... Uh, okay, there, okay, minion, minion. Okay, no air bomb. Okay, no air bomb. All right, that's good. So I have one extra minion I can save for some uh, clearing up some percentage. So I'm just going to wait. Uh, okay, just waiting. Okay. Again, I'm going to attack from the top left side. The trick is to freeze that Inferno Tower early so my wall breakers can make it in. I'm going to have to rage the wall breakers, freeze that Inferno Tower, and get those wall breakers in. Otherwise, I'm going to be screwed. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Tesla. All right. Okay. 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 So, um, everything's going okay. Bomb. Okay. I missed the bomb. Okay. That's good. I'm going to put down a couple wall breakers. Okay. Freeze early, and I got to. Rage and okay, wall breakers. I have to have these wall breakers break through. Are they breaking through? Um, yes, okay, good, good. Okay, oh, okay, Inferno Tower went down. Okay, I'm gonna just deploy everything now. Everything's going to core. Uh, I need to lightning. There we go. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna freeze this back here just because there's nothing else to freeze. Um, we're at 35%. Where's my king? Uh, okay, my king is uh, going down. Where's my queen? Oh, my queen is at the top. Okay, she's taking some fire. I'm going to have to rage, I mean, uh, phase her in a second. Uh, okay, all right. So we got the two-star in this guy's base. All right, that was good. We got the two-star. At this point, we're just kind of cleaning up. Uh, I have a couple archers, and I'll put them probably at the top here. Yeah, and, uh, and I have a minion <laughs> left over. Not really going to do much. So... Queen is going down. I'll just put the minion down. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've got the uh, two star on him. Let's see. Are we going to get the 69? Probably not. Queen is going down. Well, we have a shot. No. Okay. So that was a pretty sweet attack. We got, uh, we wrecked this guy's base. And so the key was his Inferno Towers again were super spread out. So just freeze the Inferno Tower early so you can get wall breakers in. All right, so thank you guys for so much for tuning in. I will be doing, um, I stream every day on Twitch at 3 p.m. Pacific time. My Twitch channel is pinworm666 at gmail. Oh, sorry, <laughs> pinworm666 at twitch.tv uh, or slash Twitch, uh, whatever, you can see it on the screen. Uh, so if you um, come to my channel, the first time um, I say YouTube password, who's the first person to say 
um, we'll say 67%, okay, the, pe- the key password is going to be 67%, first person to say when I say YouTube password is going to win 1,000 gold, that gold can be used for raffle tickets for $10 iTunes and Google Play giveaways that we're doing every day, so make sure you tune in um, at 3 p.m. Pacific time, thanks for checking out the video, and big shout out to Eliminate um, for putting up a sick uh, war, and uh, we're looking forward to the rematch, alright, take care.